What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys a new car I picked up. This is a car I've been wanting for a while. It's my dog barking. Here it is, I picked up a 97 240SX. This is the Kuki, original Kuki. When I first picked it up, it didn't look like this. It was pretty high stock height. Um, we lowered out the rears, put RPF ones in the front, and lowered that too. Also gave it a little bit of front camber. Yeah, the hood is messed up. But let's show you guys what's inside. We have an SR20. The previous owner did swap it to an SR. Brand new clutch. The only leak it is power steering leak. But besides that, this car runs perfect. Here's the interior of the car. Shout out Yuki, he gave me that sticker. I did get a detail, this, you know, drifter, drifter steering wheel, that's Mishimoto shift knob, drift button. Music actually works in this car, no AC. So I'm gonna try to delete this, possibly do a switch panel, typical crack dash, but that's okay. The sunroof works on this car. Gas pedal works, the brake pedal works. We have some gauges here, race car stuff. Overall, it is a very clean car. The last owner had a whole body kit on, so there's a whole bunch of holes. So we're gonna get that patched up. Trying to find a new kooky hood, but they cost so much. About two days after I picked up the car, I found on Facebook Marketplace a new bumper for the S14. It was a great deal, I couldn't pass it up. We have a Sea West front bumper. It's fiberglass, but it's actually pretty flexible. So in about a week, I'm planning to go paint this car. We're gonna drift it for sure put in the welded diff, try to get an angle kit for it, and then take it out to the events out here in Maryland. This bumper does look really good though. You know what? Let's just put it on. Okay, yeah, let's put on the bumper. Let's find out how to take off this bumper. Should be a couple bolts up top. Nothing on the bottom, I don't see anything. Hopefully I don't have to trim the bumper for the intercooler to fit. That's a great SR20 sound. Look at my dash tweaking. It's okay though. Ooh. Now we turn the wheel. We have more room to get back there. Let's see how this goes. Okay, let's take this bumper off. No. Never mind, it's self tapped. Let me take that out. <sighs> okay, finally got that self tap screw out. It took a little while. It was in a tough spot. Only had a ratchet. Got the bumper out. Oh, that's cool. It has the uh, OEM vent on there. Yup, put that there. It already came with a bash bar. That's cool. Let's try to slap on the new bumper. See how it fits. Just like I thought, it wasn't gonna fit. The lower vent hits the intercooler piping and the top of the vent hits the crash bar and i was scared for this to happen i left my dremel and my aerosol at the shop so we'll finish it at the shop tomorrow 